Tonight, our game of the week featured a rematch, a part two between Gladstone and Nagani. These two teams met back in early October with the Miners edging the Braves 31 to 30. But tonight, none of that mattered. It was win or go home with both teams not ready to call it a season just yet. Let's head to Irontown, USA for the game between Nagani and Gladstone. Miners put their foot on the gas right out of the gate. Brady Roos going to bounce it to the outside, and he's down the sidelines for the score. That's going to make it 28 0 in Nagani. Later, Philip Nelson coming up big on defense with the INT. He takes it the other way. He's able to outrun everybody for the 65 yard pick six. That'll make the score 35 6 Nagani. Now, Gladstone fought their way back into this one. Nate Young. With the snap, he's going to roll out and check out this amazing grab for the touchdown. But it's Nagani moving on with a 42-28 win over Gladstone. Someone different to make a play tonight. And tonight with sophomore uh, Hank Tignell. Uh, Brady Roos had a tremendous job coming in for Nico. And Hank came in and ran the ball and, 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 and did a great job. So like I said, it's a team effort, team win tonight. Proud of these guys. It feels great because last year with all the, all the adversity that happened with COVID, it feels nice to actually be able to find a play a normal season and not have all these quarantines and stuff and be able to have the seniors play for one more week it's great because these seniors they're they're a good group of guys there's not many of them but it's all about it's all about who they are and their their work ethic and yeah i just feel like they're good group of seniors can't wait to play another week with them let's head to walton blesh field in menominee for the maroons and the calumet copper kings late in the fourth maroons up 21 20 but here comes calumet Dryden Nelson makes one cut and he shoots through the gap up the middle and he turns on the Jets. He's gone and into the end zone. Copper Kings go up 28 to 20. Now our camera woman got knocked over during the celebration. That's why you see the camera fall there, but she's going to be okay. Let's keep things moving. Off of the tip, that's Dryden Nelson picking the ball out of midair and he's going to head the other way. Alan Bjorn with a, will punch the ball free and Nelson was there, right place, right time. The Calumet Copper Kings with a big win over Menominee to stay alive 35 to 20. Every play of this game was a battle. Our kids uh, really stepped up and fought hard every play. Um, get playoff games like this, it, it, it's always big plays like that because you got a lot of great players out there. And, uh, you know, I think we won the battle of the big plays tonight. And, uh, you know, Dryden Nelson uh, is just a fabulous ball player on both sides of the ball for us. And for him to, to put the touchdown to put us up eight and then come back on the next series and grab the fumble out of the air and, and put us up two touchdowns was fabulous and uh, and it, you know he's gonna get all the credit but it's uh, everyone on that team that worked so hard this week to be be ready and uh, but what a great win for the Copper Kings. Kingsford at Kingsley. Kingsley's first possession ball on the 22. Sam Gothels gets the handoff and picks up a nice gain to get the Stags within scoring distance and then True Beeman gonna finish it off pushing right through the middle for a 10 yard run on the touchdown. Kingsley going for the two point conversion and they're gonna get it. Gothels plows through to make it eight nothing. Kingsley, Kingsford gonna respond with a long drive with the majority of the yards coming by this play on by Toby Wilcox. He goes 50 yards before he stopped by Phillip Brown but they couldn't put up any points. Later, Beeman's gonna add another touchdown here before the end of the first quarter. Kingsley's headed back to the district final to face Claire with a 28-10 win. Kingsford finishes the season six and four overall. We we'll move now to Munising where the Mustangs were hosting Rudyard. Mustangs down 22-0, looking to get something going. They're going to get on the board with this exciting one-yard run up the gut. It's 22-8 Rudyard. We're going to stay in the second quarter. EJ Suggett with the fake. He's going to turn and toss it to a crossing. Brett Mayer, who's going to waltz into the end zone and make it 28-8 Bulldogs. Third quarter now off the direct snap. Aiden Bickle able to get to the outside, and he's in for the score. Rudyard wins it 38-14. The Marquette Redmen, they fall to Mount Pleasant tonight 37-6. They finish the year a 7-3 overall record. And Newberry, they top the Pickford Panthers tonight 32-14.